Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in the light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So before we get into this message, I will use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we <coughs> and we will go from there. Okay. Okay. I didn't it, it hit something again. I didn't use it yet, but <laughs> here we go. intuitive message I have for you guys today is as you got closer with God you started to love yourself more so you started to value yourself more you started to care about your opinion more you know valuing how you feel and your beliefs it's like you don't God don't put you to the side so you don't put you to the side you get what i mean um god don't put you on hold so you ain't putting yourself on hold you ain't holding back no more you ain't holding back from your dreams you ain't holding back from your growth and you're not letting the past pull you back you know you're allowing the future to pull you forward um you aren't focused on anybody else's success in life. You're not hyper-focused or talking about what somebody else got or what they don't got. You're not into society's games or distractions, you know. You're not focused on distractions. As you got closer to God, the distractions started to fall away. The negativity started to fall away. Um, and it's like... You're in God's world. Sometimes we find ourselves living in other people's world. And when we're a kid and we're brought up, you know, when we're newborns, obviously, yes, um, we stop the parents from moving around and doing too much in their world. But still, we are in their world because we can't feed ourselves. So it's like we're part of their world. You know, we're part of our parents' world. And then... We learn in their world, experience their world, and then when we turn 18 or when we move on and separate ourselves from that world, we create our own reality. So everything that we learned or everything that we've absorbed in our parents' reality, we will take into our reality. Sometimes we'll create our reality and not like it, so we have to change and elevate and redirect ourselves, make better decisions, be more organized or save your money more, just, you know... That's just how life goes. But you sometimes when we are in other people's world, and that could be even a relationship, you know, you found yourself absorbed in their life and you didn't have a life no more. You probably stopped getting dressed as much or you probably stopped um, pampering yourself as much, treating yourself just as important, treating your important, t treating your time with importance like just knowing that your time is valuable and stuff but sometimes we gave most of our time we put so much of our time into other people's world you know when i feel like when you grow up and you're an adult you should be able to live in your own reality you know and um you live you are no longer in a false reality that's what i'm hearing you are in god's reality you're living in god's world now you know Sometimes um, you just realize that the things that you are hoping for or wanting in the past are not really what you needed or what you should have had. And you're looking back like, if I would have had this at that time, who would I be? Where would I be? Or um, something different could have altered my life, you know. So you're seeing that the decisions of you following God's light or God's decisions or you are making decisions based off of God's life for you path for you 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 realize you're in a better space now regardless of you know you could have had a mansion and been that successful because people think that success comes with from the material realm 
when you can be spiritually successful also. So it's like you're very successful in the spiritual realm. You're realizing that if you wasn't good within or healed within or you don't know within, you're never going to be satisfied with what you see in this physical realm. Nothing's going <coughs> to... Sorry. <clears throat> Nothing's going to come completely satisfy you you're never going to be fulfilled in this life until you are fulfilled within so um yeah i'm gonna pull some cards and then we will go from there holy spirit so it's like right here through your independence <coughs> you became you, you found God, like, through your independence, through you walking away from a certain situation, allowed you to build your relationship with God. And God's like, you're not alone. Like, sometimes you may feel like you're alone because it seems like it's one person here, but it's not. It's spirits that we can't see around you right now, but they're around you in God, in Jesus, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron. But, um... With your independency, it's like you became you either your relationship with God is making you want to work for yourself or you're going to be an entrepreneur or um, like God is setting you up for independency. So you will not be codependent to nothing or no one. You won't be staying around people just because they got money. You're going to have your own money, right? You're going to do your own thing. You're going to stack your own money. And you're just going to be personal. This is... This is a personal gift, a personal healing, personal abundance. And when God calls you to heal certain people or help certain people with the abundance, and that's that's what you do. But as of right now, you learn how to put keep your walls up, keep your boundaries up. God revealed to you who is childish. With the page of cups, this is the lowest cup. This is the weakest cup. This is a child, childish energy. So it's like you begin to see that these people were, <clears throat> they weren't mature. These people around you in the past lack maturity and spiritual maturity and actually just grown up being an adult maturity they weren't. And you were breadcrumbed in the, in the past. God took you away from that. You had to cut these people off with your queen of swords. Speak your mind. Speak your truth of a, in a certain situation of the past. Saying like, yeah, I, I'm elevated. I'm spiritually enlightened. I grew. I took the path, the spiritual path, and you didn't. You're still in the physical realm and you're breadcrumbing me you're not treating me right you're not giving me enough love or you're not <clears throat> you're just using me certain people of the past like to use you now these people are going to want to stalk you or watch you on on online if you're posting or if they know where you're at it's like they see that you're shining now they see that something is changed within you and it's because your relationship with god has leveled you up your relationship with god has leveled you up big time and they don't they don't know how they still don't see and even when you say it was god that they'll still not believe it because it ain't happened in their life you know they're these type of people who believe it and then they'll see it but they're gonna see you with a lot of money they're gonna see you abundant with this business that you have i'm not trying to limit it so i'm not gonna say one specific business it's anything that you're here that you can create that you can sell there's something that you do that you can sell and that's what's going to make you abundant. And you could be a queen of pentacles or a king of pentacles. But these both are coming right behind each other. So it's like you're going to meet people who want to partner up with you. Or you're going to meet big name people or people who have a legacy. Or you're going to create a legacy with somebody once you get into business or something like that. Not mixing business and pleasure. But you're going to, you, you and your husband or you and your wife or you and this person might um, just... Be really good business partners and actually, like I said, build a legacy. It's not mixing business with pleasure at all. But Or this could just be somebody who um, is going to help you, put you in this uh, higher position. They're going to put you in that throne. They're going to get you that throne so you can sit on. No more crying nights, no more worrying and everything. Like All that is going to be gone because you took action. You took action to change, evolve, and complete something. And now you see the deceit. You see all the lies. You've been hurt before. This person's been hurt before. So if this is somebody, um, I'm seeing a female has been hurt or cheated on. So it's like she might be really sensitive with this person if this is like a relationship. But it could just be uh, business, you know, or it could actually be love too. But 
Yeah, def definitely. Your relationship with God has elevated you up to people with money. It's elevated you and aligned you to your wealth and abundance, your spiritual abundance and inheritance. You're stepping into your star power because of this relationship with God. God is raising you up. God is going to let you shine. You, you got you you got your balls now, even if you're a woman. You know what I mean? Like, you're not no... You, you ain't no pushover, and you're going to speak your mind now. Like, you're not holding back when it comes to your your legacy, your life, or what you're going towards in life. Or it's just like, even people who are lying, you're like, you're not... You want the truth and no lies, you know, with everything across the board. Emotionally, physically, or financially, everything. Just be rooted in God and truth, you know? And you cut things out that aren't in truth. You cut things out that are not in line. And that don't align. And you keep your walls up. You protect yourself. You make sure that you're not around everybody. And just making yourself easily accessible. But yeah. So that's what I got for you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.